Hello and welcome to the Game Breakdown, I'm Alex Ford, and today I'm going to be showing you a bit of a first impression video of Orcs Must Die 2. Now you may remember I did the uh, first game, I did first impression of that game, and it was my third or fourth video I think, so I was a bit rusty then. But anyway, I hope to improve on this video a bit more. Now, in this game they've improved a variety of things, the graphics are a lot better. As you can see from already the, uh, the uh, front page, there is the front menu, There is it's a lot brighter. It's just more radiant. There's it's just, it looks good. It looks really good. It's by Robot Entertainment, they made the first one of course. Uh, I, I love the first one. The the art style hit the spot and it's arcadey sort of grindy. Well, I say grindy but not in the traditional sense. You'll see what I mean in a minute when I actually uh, show you a bit of gameplay. I just loved the first game. Now, um, options, something I like about this game is Give count it and gore. It is not afraid to be gory. You will see what it is like when I show you a bit of gameplay. It is, it is, it is glorious to kill so many orcs. Anyway, uh, I've made uh, one of each uh, type of character. There's the sorceress, which was the enemy in the first game, and the old war mage. I know original names, right? Um. Okay, I'm going to stick with the traditional war mage but actually no actually I'll, show, I'll tell you what I will compare each one but then I will only show the gameplay of the war mage there will be a co-op uh, let's play coming of this game soon because of course co-op has been introduced into the uh, Orcs Must Die series so I will be doing that with Killian relatively soon after this video comes up so first off I will show you the sorceress um, ok if I click on play then I'll show you the spellbook I can show the gear. Now, she has a scepter of domination. Basically what this allows you to do is it shoots uh, bolts much like the crossbow did in the original, but also its secondary fire is sort of a domination type spell which makes enemies that it hits go into your side. It can be immensely useful when you uh, hit say a giant or a tri, I can't remember what they're called, and they, they can just turn around and stop being the enemy. Of course it only lasts for a bit, but if they're killed during the time that they're dominated, they will explode. It's pretty fun. There's also a new, uh, new types of guardian. There's dwarf guardian. Uh, some of the old traps are still here, like the spring trap and the boom barrel and spike traps. And there's a couple of new ones. I think the ice vent and the acid spray are new ones as well. Of course, scepter is, and so is the healing trinket. Uh, also, blister, of course. Traps. There are a ton more. Um, Sorceress has some. The war mage doesn't. I will show you what I mean in a minute but they are also in a different order so note that the void wall actually no, probably not the void wall because that is the most overpowered one so it will probably be last on the war mage um, okay so steam traps roughly around here sort of thing uh, I'll compare it to the war mage weapons there is a lot more weapons, there are a lot more weapons this kind of um, that's interesting. Cross when the blades are available to the sorceress. Okay. It's actually looking at it now. It seems that the war mage and the sorceress pretty much share, uh, not shame, share the same weapons, which is interesting actually. But because there are so many, I'm guessing there's going to be a wide variety in the co-op games anyway. Trinkets. This is also a new thing. So these will now give you a passive and an active ability. Such as, uh, what's this? Resist stun, and the activist breaks another player out of the stun. And things like that. And so, scavenger trinket, healing trinket. Healing trinket is the only one I've unlocked at the moment. In fact, I might buy a different one. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll buy a different trap. So, there are now these costumes as well. Like for the original, you, for the War Mage, you could unlock, I think it's War Mage of the Order or something like that, Armor of the Order or something like that. But there are now four different types for each one, one already unlocked. Now for the sorceress she has definitely been sexed up for probably a teenage market. This is quite a... Uh, well I wouldn't say it's immature or mature, it's kind of a self-professed orc grinding machine game. So I'm guessing it's only going to appeal to one type of person anyway which kind of testosterone fueled Maniacs who will enjoy looking at the sources, I'm sure. That's by uh, Brimstone, that's always useful. 
you can also buy upgrades as well. So instead of the um, Weaver, that's what they're called, Weaver um, upgrades in game. There are now these upgrades out of, out of game. I think I do believe there are 225 in total. So that means, um, you know, it'll, instead of being the Weaver, it'll be much easier. Anyway, back to the War Mage, just for comparison's sake, so I can compare it to the old game. Let's play this spellbook. The gear now, the War Mage doesn't have the blade stuff like he did in the original. He now has a new weapon called the Blunderbuss, which is kind of like a shotgun and grenade launcher in one. You can unlock the blade stuff, of course, as you can with the sorceress, but it's no longer sort of a typical War Mage thing. I remember Dwarf and Hammer was that. I think that was the DLC purchase thing as well, as was Knight of the Order armor. That was it. Anyway, let's show you a bit of gameplay. Twin Halls. Don't know how difficult this is going to be. Actually, what did I, did I click on? Ah, I know what I did. Alright, I, I need to quit out of this. Okay, so, so I got confused here because there are two game modes. There is Story and there is Classic. And then there's sort of one in the middle which is Endless, but I'll talk about that in a second. Story is the story for Orcs Must Die 2. Classic is the story from the original. So Twin Halls it was a map from the first game but I, I won't show you that at the moment because you, you might have already seen it and you might not have seen what's this big valleys. Endless is, as as the name suggests, it's endless. It's see it's a survival. See how many waves you can last sort of game which is probably more interesting co-op. Anyway, back to where I was meant to be going. Big valleys. Loading times doesn't actually seem that bad. I'm quite impressed. Whether it's going to be la different for co-op and whether it's going to be more uh, laggy, I don't know, but we'll have to see. I don't know, you, you won't be able to hear that, but there w is some sort of banter going on between the Sorceress and the War Mage. I, will, I hope you, you will be able to hear it better in the co-op when I film I will see if I can adjust it properly. But, um. Okay, right, to the gameplay. So, as you can see, there are a lot more environmental dangers to the Orcs. There are these things called boulder shoots. And what have we got here? We've got these minecarts. I don't know what they do actually at the moment. Um, you might remember the first one, there were uh, chandeliers and, you know, things like that that you could, like, knock down onto the enemies. These ones, there's. Already in the first couple of, ma of um, maps, there seems to be a, a much broader variety. That it seems to be something that they thought they could improve upon, which I definitely, which I approve of, because um, it's always great fun and much more useful when you have things to other things to help you with the killing action. Okay, right. I can add a couple more here. Uh, let's get some dwarf guardians going. But let's let's try putting one. Hmm. Now I'm gonna see if I can get the orcs to go down the middle. Actually, because there are three ways here. This this could be pretty risky because otherwise, when the orcs get split up, they they can easily slip behind you and get to the exit. So if I can get them down the middle, somehow maybe block them off a bit by placing a couple of traps on the side because the orcs are relatively smart which is interesting the AI is pretty good if they see a trap in their way and there's a there's an alternative route past that trap without going through it and activating it it will it will choose that route which is pretty good actually um, let's place One there, one there. Wow, that that worked. And what else do we have? Let's let's have some old-fashioned arrow trapped. And I've upgraded those as well. Actually, it looks slightly different. So we've got a frame around it. All right, let's see if it actually works. 
Three time. I've just realised I've made an absolutely hideous mistake. They come out of this way. I'm so used to them coming out of the doorways that, like in the first one. Wow. I am clever. Now the blunderbuss is pretty much a shotgun. The secondary is the grenade, sort of grenade launcher, which is also a knockback. It's, it's more like a concussion grenade than anything else because it doesn't do as much damage as you might expect. It does damage them, but um, it doesn't really, you know, kill them as much. It's pretty useful when you're fighting on top of a cliff, I guess. Oh, right, after this round, I'm going to really have to sell that lot, aren't I? I'm guessing the middle is actually blocked, otherwise they would probably choose to go down there. Grenade is also used for firing into enemies, sort of a disruptor. Seems to be managing quite well. I guess it is only the first wave though, of eight. But one thing I have found though is that they've definitely ramped up the difficulty on this game. Like, I remember what, what one of the issues was that I had with the first, I might not have mentioned it, I cannot remember for the life of me, was that it, it was a bit easy until the second half, then the difficulty instantly ramped up, which is not good at all. Come on, to the middle. No, fine. Okay. It's interesting that I can't actually unlock the barricade. Barricades was a trap you could get in the first one, but it wasn't so much a trap, more of a sort of useful obstacle. You, you could sort of force which direction the orcs went, but now it's pretty interesting that they can, uh, they've decided not to have it in something that comes with the map. Oh, got a leak. There we go, no we haven't. The orcs do fight back, so melee weapon. There, there is actually a, a use for melee weapons if you're if you're wondering that. Okay. Oh god. Of course, they're now going down the route with no traps whatsoever. Well, are they? No, they're not. Okay. They are now. That was quite nicely. Do, no, they don't seem to damage the barricades. Actually, that's good. The arrow, I, was, I was thinking that maybe with the new system they might damage the, uh, the barricades, the arrows, but apparently they don't, which is even better. I'm guessing big maps like this is where the cart comes in. It seems they, that that the developers are almost trying to say, if you want to get top score, play with your mates. Surprisingly accurate for a shotgun. Who am I complaining? They're supposed to be killing the Let's do it again. Okay, now I can actually plan things a little better. Um. Okay. Ready, aim, fire. Let's see if we could force them down the middle. A bit more. We're going to have to place a couple more traps down there, aren't we? Wow, I've got a load of credits. That's good. I can also place a couple along here. That'd be useful as soon as they spawn, they can, you know, face the arrow walls. There we go. The arrow walls is one of my highlights of the game. It's so deliciously satisfying just seeing walls upon walls of, of orcs just crash straight into the arrow walls. Here we go, straight down the middle, just as I wanted. Uh, something I can do. Is if I this can will up. Oh, get another one. And after this wave, I will focus my fire uh, and my traps around the middle. Now they are going down here. This is kind of the idea of this game is that you're supposed to make a choke point and take advantage of it. 
supposed to be able to kill the orcs in the most efficient ways possible, so... I might try using... Actually, I won't. Not yet. I won't waste it. Now, you might have seen uh, the odd blue bottle lying around, like those uh, red bottles. Those are... Uh, mana potions. Like, like in the original there were health potions, there are now mana potions as well. It's just tiny little tweaks like this that they've done. They haven't done too much, actually. Well, they took me four at the same time, do you know nope. The orcs will go for you instead of the rift, so you can play that to your advantage. There's a whole load of them, you can just drag them around. Um, okay, so they're going down the middle now, aren't they? Let's sell that. Warning, may cause death. Let's go. Okay. Are the orcs actually going to manage to get down here? The answer is no. After this row, we will have a row of spikes for them to contend with. Delicious. One, two, five, turn it, lost count. So what I should also do is that they seem to be off put by the middle now. The like traps that I put. So I'm either going to have to bolster the edges or maybe lessen the middle. Um, I might put some tar traps on the outside. I could change their decision a bit. Something I also want to show you is the actual design of the orc. They now look a lot more vicious, well these guys don't. Well actually they kind of do actually. Ooh, the orcs always kind of looked a bit cuddly. Oh no, in the original not these guys. They, all, they almost looked a bit cuddly in the original and now it's less morally scarring to kill them. Because they're, these guys, they, they no longer look like the cuddly fellows that you're used to. Well these like lighter guys might but um, the larger elementals and rougher, uh, heavier orcs definitely do not. Now that's one of the blue potions I was telling you about. Actually. Grenades. Let's just see if we can split these earth elementals before time runs out. Well, before we have run out of space. Although no, we don't have to worry about the flanks. What a mess. Yeah, they look a lot more scary than the uh, original orcs. Um, okay, let's put a couple more. Orc, the other, other white Are they still coming down here? Yes, alright. That, that should definitely slow them down a bit. Probably put some tar traps on this side as well. More tar traps. Okay. Let's go. Right, of course they're going down the flank because they're the ones that blow up. Whatever they're called. That doesn't really matter anymore because we've got so many uh, arrow walls. The barricades are only really useful to a point actually. That then they kind of become a hindrance. Now, how many was that? Uh, nah, of course, we're going down the dark side. Definitely not too bad. Okay. Animation's good. I'm really enjoying the new animations. And the improved graphic style. Really good. Wow. Definitely put definitely more rocks here. Put a couple of arrow walls in the middle for the last wave. Loot 
Oops. Oh, I need more mana. I like this one. No, got a leap. Big leap. Very good leap. Very good leap. Alright. God damn. Alright, final wave. We need to improve. Okay. Just whichever way you choose, you will face a wall of death. One, two, five. Kind of Let's start using some of these, um. Some of the environmental things. Actually. Oh man, I lose. You definitely remember your, uh. If you played the original, you remember how annoyed you got at. The smaller ones. Here we go. Wow, those are our traps really starting to pay off actually. There we go. Zappers on the way! Kill streak! They, they have to come down a bit. Is this the last one? I do believe this is the last one. That's a... Uh, fine. Yeah, that's it. Come this way. There we go. Fitting finish. Okay. Only two stars because we load a bunch through. As I said, the difficulty is definitely being ramped up. Oh! I can't have the barricade. Okay, well, it's, it, nonetheless, it's still interesting that I um, that they now starting to place traps in the, in the actual maps themselves. Oh well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to see next time, we will be doing a co-op let's play that all the way through, and I'll be doing that with Killian, so you will to see the sorceress and the war mage in action together in co-op and all the maps. It will be good fun. Anyway. Orcs must die too, everybody. I definitely recommend it. I think it's uh, about 11 quid, 11, 12 pounds. I think that's about 20 dollars. I'm not too sure. Really don't know exchange rates and all that thing. Um, but anyway, career kills, 1,163. I'm sure that will grow over the next couple of days as I begin to play this more and more. Definitely recommend it. I'll see you next time. Bye. Drop it.